A Buyer's Guide to Vacuum Pumps One of the hardest things for a rep to do is to read the client's mind. The team here at Pi Barker often gets asked to advise if vacuum or vacuum B is better for the client. The truth is, there is no one-size-fits-all answer. In order for you to be clear on what you need and also give the rep all the information they need to be able to give you a good answer, here are seven questions you need to be able to answer for yourself. Vacuum Pump Buyers Question 1. Are there space considerations? Before we even get to performance, it's important to know how much space we have to work with and any logistical concerns getting the unit to its new home. Space restrictions cut down the options. That said, there are plenty of units that give you a high flow from a small unit. Vacuum pump buyers question 2. What's the required pressure? Sometimes we see buyers of replacement units confuse the required operating pressure with the ultimate pressure on the specs. It pays to be very clear about what your required operating pressure is or you could end up with a pump that isn't perfect for your needs. Vacuum Pump Buyers Question 3 What is the required flow? When specifying your vacuum flow make sure that you use either actual cubic feet per minute or standard cubic feet per minute. Mixing these up when specifying your vacuum could mean a unit that is oversized or undersized. Vacuum Pump Buyers Question 4 what is your evacuation time and pressure parameters? Whether you need a 2-second or 10-second evacuation time depends on the application. Vacuum pumps used in chemical applications can have completely different time and pressure parameters to vacuums used by the food industry. Vacuum pump buyers question 5. What contaminants are in the environment? Contamination of the vacuum could cause unit to need additional repairs have a shorter life or just not perform at your specified standards. Understanding all the potential sources of contamination will allow our team to recommend the right protections for your new vacuum. Vacuum Pump Buyers Question 6 Any other environmental considerations? Is your vacuum working in a wet, dry process? What ambient temperature will it be operating in? Not selecting a pump designed to operate in your specific environment will lead to more repairs higher maintenance bills and more downtime than you would otherwise expect. Vacuum Pump Buyers Question 7 What do you want your investment profile to look like? Generally, you can keep capital costs down by buying a unit that has less upfront costs but may cost more to maintain and operate. Or if you need to keep operating costs down, you can invest extra in smarter system controls that will provide you with monitoring data which can ultimately lower running costs. The choice is yours if you know what you want. Need a new vacuum pump? Well, when you can answer these seven questions, then by all means give the team at Pi Barker a call on 404 600 or drop us a line sales at piebarker.com. And if you can't answer these questions, give us a call anyway and we can help you work through the specifics and get the right vacuum for your application.